Yo, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Now, Conor McGregor is no longer facing criminal charges for the alleged assault that happened at the NBA Finals in June. Prosecutors reviewed the case and concluded that there was inefficient evidence to support beyond a reasonable doubt that Conor McGregor assaulted a woman at Game 4 of the NBA Finals in Miami. The memo noted that there was contradicting and or no cooperating witnesses to support the alleged assault. As we know, McGregor attended the NBA Finals for a promotional appearance. The suspect ass As we know, McGregor attended the NBA Finals for a promotional appearance, and the assault allegedly occurred in a men's restroom in the arena after the basketball game. McGregor and the accuser were seen entering the restroom together on CCTV footage. According to the prosecutors, the accuser's friend did not seem to be aware of the alleged attack. The memo mentioned that the woman questioned detectives about how McGregor would respond if she pursued charges, including the possibility of him settling or paying her off instead of going through the legal process. After the initial reports of the alleged attack, an attorney from the accusers claimed that the NBA offered her $100,000 to remain quiet about the incident. However, the NBA denied this claim. I think it's important to remember that the legal process can be complex and the truth can be elusive. What do you guys think about the conclusion of this case? Do you believe that the inefficient evidence and the absence of cooperating witnesses are enough to clear McGregor's name? Or do you guys think that there might be more to the story than meets the eye? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Your perspective is important to us. Once again, if you guys enjoy the content that we make on this channel, remember to like, subscribe, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.